beautiful Gold Coast night. I had the heater on today, and I'm sure it's cold everywhere else. We've got <laughs> uh, Will and Eric here as usual. Hello, boys. Hello, hello. Yeah. Are we? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Now, Eric is still jaunting around Bali. How are you finding that, Eric? He's, he's nice and warm by the look of it. He's got the, the shirt on. 30 degrees plus. Yep. Humid. Yep. Palm trees. Nice. <laughs> Sunny beach, white sands, saltwater pool. What can I say? Oh, and bintang. <laughs> and bintang. <laughs> Beautiful. Or putang. And that as well. Yeah, so that's good. So, um, so good stuff, good stuff. So what have we been doing? Well, obviously, Eric's been doing nothing. Will, just working hard. And same here, I guess. Same here, I guess. All right. So you can, if you want to watch the show live, you can watch the show live, live.thesecrethub.com every Thursday night at around 7.30. For only followed by the Tech Webcast replay. Now, I must mention something about Tech Webcast. If you tune in at 7 o'clock, you fo- you'll see that. Otherwise, if you, if you don't tune in live, you can go to techwebcast.info and get the latest audio or video release. And tomorrow on the Tech Webcast show, that's tomorrow, Friday the 8th of July, uh, Tech Webcast got Kelly Lewis. So that's going to be a big show. Now, you guys remember, would know Kelly from, I think she's now on the Revision 3 network. But she, what she started out with, Geek Brief, was that the one? I think that was right. Uh, yeah, that was her own setup. Yep. That's right, yeah. I think she's, she's morphed. Split with her husband, yeah, split with her husband. Right, right. Maybe not bring so that you're up. You're in with a shot. You're in with a shot, Bradley. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, or maybe don't bring the split up, Brad. Might be a bit too raw at the moment. But uh. <laughs> oh, no, it was a year and a half ago, mate. She's aching. <laughs> oh, all right. She's aching for it. All right. Well, um, yeah, get her involved. And uh, yeah, so that's tomorrow. So I think uh, Braddy Tech Webcast guys have told me that it's going to be out tomorrow afternoon. Techwebcast dot info. Okay, you can also contact Glenn. Oh, that's me. Uh, Will and Eric. <laughs> At Glenn, Will, or Eric at AussieTechHeads.com.au. <laughs> you, could f- you could find us at the webpage, AussieTechHeads.com.au. There's a forum there, Facebook, fan page. Oh, we've got the whole lot. Soon to be Google Hangout. Oh. You know, the whole bit. Oh, yeah. Eric just distracted me a little bit by doing that. I suddenly got motion sickness. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's just readjusting his camera. Yeah. And, and, there, and there's the... Uh, there's the Facebook link. Thanks to Monaro. Facebook.com slash Aussie Tech Heads. There well done, go. Monaro. Good work. Good work. Okay, great. Good for getting that name too because I know there's, a, there's another little AU Tech Heads around the imposters. Oh, I don't know. These some people. But anyway, we'll deal with them later, you little scoundrels. Yeah, yeah we'll send some people around. That's right. Yeah, baseball bats, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yes, all right. So a few few bits of news this week, and a and a in a in a in a, in a wild wild country like Australia. <laughs> all right, let's start. Let's go. If, oh, have I mentioned everything? You can call in live to the show if you listen live. Aussie Tech Ed on the Skype. Um, yeah, send us in an email or MP3 or something if you want to pre-record. I think we had Marzi the other week pre-record a video. We can do videos, play the videos as well. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, but I haven't seen Marzi for a while. Where's he been? No, he might be uh, working night shift or something. He's, uh, a, he's a busy course, lad. Yes. Yes. He's, he's a busy lad. And uh, he's got newborn, I think, if I remember right. Oh, has he? Yeah, has so, he? you know, that's all, uh, yeah, probably keeping his hands real busy. All right. So let's move into the first story. And I've got one here. Optus. Optus has been, been pinched for $5.26 million. About time. For misleading broadband internet. So, yeah, so that's been going on for a while. They've finally been fined. But, oh. uh, sorry? How much did you say? 5.26 million. Yeah, it's just different to them. <laughs> oh, how much have you got? 6.5. Oh, that might be New Zealand dollars. It's from a newspaper, so it's more than likely a typo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the court ruled that there was a, an essential vice in, in the advertisements. There was an essential vice. What's that, Eric? The court ruled essential that there, there was... I think it means that it's like a hook. Oh, okay, right, right. Because they it's misled people it about it the... misleads them by, with the wording. Yes, well, they were very misled. And they still are to a certain extent. And I was, I was misled as well just the other day looking at the Telstra deals on the webpage. And it was like you look at the caps with the iPhone 4 and I, I read it to be... Uh, what was it, $59 for the plan, but then when you sort of really, really went into it, it was an extra $4 for the phone a month. 
And um, oh, really? Start again? What was that? What was that? Is this yeah? Well, start again on the uh, Telstra website. Yeah. Yeah, they had the iPhone four plans, and they were fifteen right. fifteen dollars uh, for fifty nine dollars a month. Right. But it also is uh, uh, ten dollars or something. There's extra for the phone a month. The, yes, the, that's right. The way but yeah, you're right. The Telstra ones are confusing. Mm. Um, that it was because uh, I guess I got my wife on a couple of weeks, about three weeks ago, and it was um, it was the next year. It was ten bucks net, ten bucks a month. You get they give you a credit of twenty five dollars. Yeah, and then you use fifteen dollars of something or other. And anyway, it comes out that it's a net ten bucks. I just wish they'd say. Yes. Um, it's ten bucks a month instead of saying here's your credit, but you get to do. You know what I mean? It's a, mm. too confusing, too many, too many uh, lines. Just say yeah. Net it all out. Bottom line, advertise the bottom line. Nice and simple. Ten bucks a month for the phone mm. over two years. Let's face it, it's only two hundred and forty bucks for an iPhone. Yes. You know? Yeah. Not the, a lot of money. Yeah, that's right. You buy them, you go, buy them outright at Apple Store. It's going to cost you a grand. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So you better off to do it on a plan. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I know I was misled, and I'm thinking, oh, geez, yeah, that's not bad. And then I started telling someone about it because who wanted to buy one, and then they went to the, to ask about it, and they said, no, it was an extra ten bucks, man. And it's sixty nine bucks a yeah. month, and I went, oh, yeah. but that's not what it says, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. Crazy. The plan itself is is uh, well, actually, the Telstra one was pretty helpful when we when my when wife got hers. Um, there was forty nine dollars um, plan and fifty nine and a seventy nine. The forty nine dollar plan, it was only you had to pay twenty bucks a month for the phone, so it was sixty nine dollars anyway, and you got four hundred bucks worth of calls and a gig of data. But she said you're better off going to the fifty nine dollar plan and paying an extra ten, still mm. sixty nine dollars. Yep. But you get seven hundred bucks worth of calls and one and a half gig worth of data, and it's still sixty nine dollars. So mm. she actually helped me out. She was yeah. very good. Yeah, she well, that's gave good. me got the best deal. So she got the white iPhone and she's happy. Yeah, I think you, you can find people that want to give you a deal. Like I, I think I brought it up before on the show that uh, my brother who owns a, a business, he was he was his uh, phone bill was like three hundred and fifty bucks a month or something. You know, with internet, phone, and whatever else he had. Yeah. And I said, yeah. you're, "You're freaking joking, aren't you? Three hundred and fifty bucks a month? Are you serious?" So anyway, so I had a bit of a look at it, and uh, so I rang him up and I said, "What's going on here?" And so we nutted it all out and got it down to one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah. And that's yep, and that's, that's right. with free STD, or unlimited yep. STD, unlimited mobile, unlimited local, yep. and, bundle. Yeah, it was all bundled together, and it was yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was good. So yeah, there are people around that do want to help you, but yeah, just waddling your way through it, it's crazy. But anyway, oh, get, it's hard. That's right, it's hard. Unless someone points you in that direction, you think, oh god, what am I paying all this money for? I was yeah. I was under the same boat as your brother, and uh, and then my brother-in-law. Said, oh, because they moved office, and they when they moved office, they rang up Telstra. Said, oh, we're going to transfer our phones to another address, and they said, oh, by the way, and this dude introduced him to this bundle. Mm, yeah. And then I rang him up, the same dude, and I said, oh, can you give him his number? And, and he got, got me the same bundle as what got your brother. Yeah, yeah. So, so it works. It works. And plus, he was a, he had two lines, and he was using one line for fax and alarm. And then I said, no, right. no, 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 get them all on the, get it, just cut one line out. Because the alarm was actually ringing back to base three times a day. So I'm going, oh, good God. And, that, and that's a one three number. So that was 30 cents a pop. And that was like, um, whatever that was, 30 bucks a month or what, 30 bucks a month or something, just in one three calls. No, it was $90, yeah. three a day. Oh, it's horrible, yeah. Or something like that. Oh, I forget now. It was long ago. But anyway, uh, so anyway, yeah, and so anyway, rang the Telstra lady and she goes, oh, you can't have all those services on one line. I said, why not? She goes, oh, they, they all won't fit. Well, nah. yes, will. I said, don't worry, just do it, will you? She goes, well, they won't fit. <laughs> I went, just do it. I said, get rid of the other line. And never had a problem. Never had a problem. Yeah. So, yeah, but anyway, the Optus. But you, know, you, you know you can get that separate, um, what's it called? You can, get, you can ring up Telstra and you can, get, you can get two lines on the one line. Do you know about that? Yeah. Uh, Optus used to do it. And it rings. It's a different ring. Mm. So when it's ringing, you know that's the fax machine? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and it just switches over. There's a special you still name. Need, Got one line. That's right, but I think there was an issue with that. Uh, I because don't know. Of what, the alarm, probably. Yeah, yeah, it could have been. It could have been. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, duet. That's right. Thanks, uh, disgruntled tech in the lounge. That's what it's called. The duet. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, this Optus suggested that a customer would obtain a broadband usage allowance of 120 gig or 150 gig, depending on the particular plan, uh, consisting of two usage allowances: one peak, one off peak. So, but mm. however, in fact. This 
is only true if the consumer was careful to in- ensure that all of uh, their off-peak allowance was exhausted before the peak allowance was fully utilised. Yeah, it's ho- it's a hopeless system they've got. This they say, uh, yeah, along those lines. They say before you, you use your off-peak allowance first. Yes, but if you're on, if, but if you're using your allowance um, peak, then too bad. Yes, you lose it. Yeah, because I had an internet connection, well, my old plan with who I'm with now, and they've got, and most places have the peak and the off-peak deal, and and to do with shaping and everything, it was all about, now, if I was shaped on the off, on the peak, I was also shaped on the off-peak. Correct, so, yes. which is wrong. Yeah, because obviously, you, you know, you could wait till, uh, back then, it was just 7 o'clock to, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. was the off-peak, and all weekend. So obviously, if, you know, you, you know, it worked out for me, but but uh, you, cut, you to shape one, and then to automatically do the other didn't work. So um, yeah. So you can see why they're and also they were in trouble ages ago, weren't they, for their unlimited advertising, as well, and yeah. you know all this sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you got there? What were you holding up then? Oh, I'm just holding up my dinner menu. <laughs> oh, what are you having? I don't know. Yeah, bit of nazi goring. Is it maybe? Is it in uh, English? Yes, of course. Oh, all right. Hold up again. I'll give you. I'll give you the screen so we can see it. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Just get the page. I can order some Indian if I like to. <laughs> How how's your phone going, Will? With your three G and your problems. Um, I haven't had any problems with. Well, I'm with Telstra now, so I haven't had any problems now. Oh yes, that's all all good and good and dandy. Fine oh, and free. dandy. <laughs> That's the way. Uh, yeah, I haven't had any problems with Telstra. I actually got a really good deal when I signed up with Telstra because I signed up under a biz- as a business user. Right, and yes. And the cool part is when you sign up as a business user and don't provide an ABN, after two months they kick you back to a, a normal plan. But the thing is the plans they give you are plans that you can't get the phones and stuff on in the first place. Um, but because they've got to find you an equivalent deal, they basically make deals up. Mm. So, I got. So it was forty nine dollars. Um, forty nine dollars for calls and for you know, two hundred and fifty dollars worth of calls, or whatever yeah. it is. Um, a gig of data, you know, and I had a bonus, um, two gig or three gig plan on top of that. But once my plan finished, they offered me a deal for forty five dollars, which was four dollars cheaper, which mm. is five hundred dollars worth of calls. Um and five gig of data. <laughs> yeah, so you got two at the same time. Is was that right? Two phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but so that's because because the, these particular plans I've got are available with other phones, but not with the phones I got. Right. So we use the business business repayment deal or what the business repayment option, I think it's called. Yeah. No, handset repayment option HRO, and you do that through a business deal, and then when they do a check after a couple of months and find out you don't have an ABN, they bounce you back to a, a plan uh, that doesn't really exist but it's better than the one you got anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so so why wouldn't you just get it? You can get an ABN for, for free. I think they hand them out. But I knew that they were going to do that, so yep. I decided that once they bounce you back to a better plan, I could have, like, they, they sent me. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right, saying, right. Don't give us an ABN. Yeah. This is the plan we're going to put you on. Mm. And I waited and went, no, put me on those. Yeah. <laughs> They're better. The ones you gave me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's good. So you've left your three problems behind. And, um, oh, I don't know. They've stopped chasing me probably because we've moved and they keep, and they disconnected my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, well, apparently there's a there's a little Apple story here about problems with phones and apparently uh, infected PDF files are doing the rounds. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's um, uh, I haven't got one yet, but that's what I hear. Yeah. So clicking on an infected PDF file is sufficient to infect the mobile device with malware without you knowing about it, on several versions of Apple iOS operating system. Uh, the same could occur when opening a website that carries the, an infected PDF and possibly opening the device to criminals spying on passwords, planners, photos, text messages, emails, and even listening on the phone conversation. Dirty little buzzards. The, uh, the problem may occur on all devices, apparently, so that's, that's no good. Uh, 3GS, iPhone 4, iPad, iPad 2, oh, my poor little baby. And the iPod Touch <laughs> with, with software versions up. including iOS 4.33 and cannot be excluded. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Apple has yet to fix the problem. 
So it's that, the same exploit that they... Well, it's a modification of the same exploit that they could use... <coughs> The first iPhone came out. Yeah, was it Jailbreak Me? Yeah, where you could go to the website and all you had to do was slide the thing and you jailbreak your phone. That's that's a modif- modification of exactly the same export. Oh, okay. And that was four years ago now? Mm. Yeah, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Just slide the thing and you, the big old jailbreak. That was all right. Yeah, nothing's changed. So, mm. good to see they're on the ball. So, are we all, uh, we all up to speed with the cool. Google Plus? Did you get in, Will? Nope. No. I'm a registered user. I have been approved for a Google Plus account. Right. I go to log in. It tells I'll send me you an invite. I'll send you an invite. How do you do that? I don't can't see how to do that. I'll show you. You go to just log in, right? And then you go to share, and you send your um, you send what you call it, um, send it to his email address. Oh, I've done all that. Yeah, I did that. And send it to Will, and then he just accepts. Yeah, okay, so you haven't got an email then, Will? Obviously not. A Gmail account. You need a Gmail account. Yeah, I've sent it to his Gmail. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll see what yeah, we can do. We'll send it again. No, uh, yeah. I actually had an account, and then once I started the whole we're over limit, you must wait for your beta uh, um, invitation, my account got closed on me, and I've never been able to use it since. Yeah, right. Uh, just start a new Gmail account and send me that, and I'll send you an invite. Yeah, so it's sharing by email only. So if I go to someone that I know is on it, like, so then Eric's on it. So where's Eric's little picture? Oh, you might not, I might not have put you in a circle. There you are. You're, you, no, you already have somewhere. I don't know. I can't remember what you did. Yeah, so when I look at you, when I hover over you, you don't say sharing by email only. You're, you're, you're just in there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, rightio. So, okay. So, <laughs> all right, we'll have, to, we'll have to sort Will out. Well, we'll, we'll try again later tonight. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it doesn't look too bad. I was going to do a start a hangout for us all. I had a bit of a go with the, the hangout with, with Brad and uh, uh, Disgruntled there earlier today for a quick, quick hookup. And I thought it worked okay. Uh, Eric, you thought the, the video, the, the footage was a bit, bit dodgy? But it, it was a bit ordinary, but that might be due, mainly because of my end of where I am at the moment. Yeah, well, as I, as I, as I said, yeah, I thought it was great. I, I, I think the other guys had, had similar uh, similar. Uh, praises. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. There was three of us, and it went seemed to go pretty well. So uh, I've already got something in mind for that. So I'm going to start a hangout. That's what the, that's what the cool term is these days. Hangout circles, all this sort of stuff. So we'll do all that. Yeah. And uh, but talking of Google and Facebooks and all that sort of stuff. Now we all know if we haven't been living under a rock, the integration of Skype is going into Facebook. I'm not sure when this is actually going to happen. Is it happened? Is it going to happen? No. Uh, uh, didn't it? Did, it's available. Didn't it happen already? I, I don't know if it's available to everybody. It's probably one of their things because they roll things out slowly. But yeah, that is that is available to some people because I know um, uh, Engadget has trial given the trial run. So mm. yeah, because I know I logged on to Facebook today. I can't secret out of my account, so I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong or yeah. Because I, 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 log- I logged on to Facebook today and it was all it seemed a bit different. There was the friends had moved to the right hand side of the page and yeah, things are a little bit different there. But anyway, so Facebook and Skype, they got together. And obviously now Microsoft, who also owns a little bit of Facebook, who owns Skype, yep. about a, what, well, more than 50% they own Skype. So you can say they just own it. Uh, apparently, what's this say here? The software giant, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Facebook is expected to unveil apps designed to run on tablet computers like the iPad and the Android operating system. The company said that the service has already been made available to millions this is Skype. Oh, here we go. The Skype. The company has said that it has already been made available to millions of its 750 million users. So, um, mm. yeah, there goes. Expect a few more crashes. <laughs> it'll, be a slow, it'll be a slow rollout. Oh. When it's available, apparently it pops up with a window saying, do you want to enable video chat? Oh, okay, right. But, I mean, like, Skype can't handle it now. How are they going to handle that? <laughs> so, like, so, <laughs> well, it'll be serious. the Skype... End in terms of the program and, and things like that, well, but, but it'll be using Facebook's, um, you know, it's Facebook's bandwidth and throughput and server, I would imagine. And now that Microsoft's got their mitts into it, they're probably going to increase it. You know, they're probably going to charge you. So they're probably going to destroy Skype in some respects with the amount of bandwidth and server, you mm. know, server space and server power they have behind them. It certainly won't be a bad thing in that respect. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's hope it's going to work. I don't know if it will, but let's hope it will. Uh, Apple, 
Apple's Apple is deciding on whether or not to allow allow the Google Plus app through. They're sitting on it, having a having a bit yeah, of a chin wag. Uh, news is, is it, news is it has been submitted a, as an iOS app. It was revealed apparently by an employee who was writing on her personal plate uh, personal page. Uh, for Plus to succeed alongside Facebook and Twitter, it will need to reach as many mobile devices as possible, which is pretty yep. obvious. Uh, Apple exercises strict control over what can run and what can't. And if you remember, well, a year, two years ago, it, blo- it blocked the Google phone app and all this sort of stuff. So it's already blocked some Google apps. And it says, goes on, this article goes on to say, if the search giant fails to get a native app approved, it may find itself restricted to a browser-based web application. And I tell you, I've, I've looked at the browser-based web application for Plus, and it's uh, rubbish. It's rubbish. So, um, I don't know. I don't like it. You can't do nothing. Oh, actually, I did try and use the the um, Plus. No, oh, the Hangout. That's right, on the iPad. It didn't work. It needed a plug-in, so it didn't work. So, hopefully... Yeah, we need the app. We need the app. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yes. So, what else have we got going on here tonight? Um, well, here's a funny one. Here's a funny one. You know that you've been. You would have been keeping up with all the news in in Britain about about uh, phone hacking and all this sort of stuff. What people would do. The yes. News of the world. Murdoch's news of the world. They were. Mm. That, that what? So I, I think this. I understand this right. There's some poor little girl was murdered. And this guy hacked into the her phone and deleted messages or something. Did you guys follow any of that stories? Those stories? A little bit. But you continue. I have, I have heard of it though. Yeah, so it's made big news. You know, the 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 government's all going crazy, and the the you know, and uh, uh, well, it's not right, is it? They were giving the, this report. This undercover investigator was giving apparently like false hope to the parents. You know. Bad situation. Phones getting hacked. Apparently, Hugh Grant came on the TV and he's going, "Well, no one was really taking it serious until something real tragedy like this has happened." He goes, "You know, everyone thinks it's funny hacking in celebrities' phones." Blah 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 blah. But then over the over the uh, over the ocean across in America, some uh, hackers have taken over a Twitter account belonging to Fox News, uh, which is a verified account. I might add. Uh, so taken it over somehow, found the password, whatever they did, hacked into it, and they started tweeting. Uh, the tweet was Fox News Politics tweeted, breaking news, uh, Barack Obama assassinated. Two gunshot wounds have proved too much. And, uh, yeah, so they started going on about that. A group of individuals calling themselves the script kiddies appeared to claim responsibility. So um, things are starting to get serious with all this hacking. There's a lot of hacking going on. It is, isn't it? It's quite bizarre. It's, yeah. it's, I think sometimes the more they publicise it, the more people go, oh, I can do, I'll do that too. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I, I, I used to hack, but I just spat it out and moved on. So I was all right. Yeah. Uh, but know, we all used to hack. Bit of phone <laughs> freaking here and there. That's right. But there was a lot of – there seems to be a lot going on. You've got the Sony debacle. You've got the uh, – what else was going – you've got the, the My Mates down in Melbourne with the Distribute IT hack going on, which is which is still yes. stuffing me around. Still. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's still stuffing me around. And, yeah, and there's a few other things. I think someone was saying the other week, what, Nintendo was hacked or something? Um, yeah, bloody crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Yeah, well, actually, it was funny. They only hacked Nintendo to tell them that they weren't going to hack them because they're too much of a friendly company and they like them too much. Right, they just wanted to improve. <laughs> yeah, but, they, they only hacked them to, to tell them they weren't going to hack them, which I thought that was, that was classy. Mm. <laughs> Did you ah. know this dairy farm is thick and green is 98% fat free? No, yeah, away. it's always been 98% fat free. <laughs> oh. Can you sh- My bad. <laughs> what were William, we- you're lying. You are not 98% fat free. What were we, what were we eating, Will? What were we watching? Um, yogurt. Ooh, yum, yum. Yum, <laughs> yum, yum. yum. No, this is, um, speaking of that, that story about Hugh Grant, I haven't um, actually listened to this, so I hope there's not any... Well, it's here, Grant. There probably is. Um, he's talking about how he exposed hacking um, because he's been speaking about the, how he recorded the conversation between himself and Paul McMullen in which the journalist revealed details of phone hacking by the media. Um, and I'll just, I'll just have to recapture your screen. So if you can fill for me for a sec. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
Yeah, so it seems that hacking is um, it's getting bigger and bigger, and you got the the what was it? Some lols lols people. We got anonymous out there. And yeah, look, people in the lounge are saying, "Well, who's in the lounge?" Zen- Xenophontus, he's got it, and that's not that's not Senator Xenophontus, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he got hacked through Facebook. If it is, I'll have words. <laughs> he got hacked through Facebook. Um, yeah, so oh, here we go. I think he, Will's got him. Have you got him, Will? I don't know if I play the whole lot because it's four minutes. But oh, no, um, just... if you go to search. Um I'll put the link in the show notes anyway. It's on BBC. Incidents. I broke down in the middle of Kent in my car. Uh, it's a long story, but basically the guy, a guy got out of a car the other side of the road, started taking pictures of me. He was um, Paul McMullen, this ex-News of the World features editor. And uh, I was swearing at him, etc. And anyway, I finally got talking to him and he started boasting about how my phone had been hacked and all of the dirtiest tactics of the, of the News of the World and about um, their relationship with the police and about their relationship with... Uh, five successive prime ministers uh, and uh, I was revolted and astonished and then I went back a few months later to the pub he now runs in Dover and pretended to be dropping in for a pint uh, and I bugged him uh, it seemed like symmetry and I got him talking again about all these things and I so um, I won't play any more of that you can you can check that for yourself but uh, yeah just search bbc.co.uk and just search for um, Hugh Grant exposed hacking. Mm. Probably not. Don't search for Hugh Grant exposed because that's probably a different story. Yeah, <laughs> uh, from from. Yeah, you get you get the Vine Brown. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all right. So uh, and also just probably a timely reminder. We don't we don't have an audible ad this week uh, while Eric's on holidays. But we just a timely reminder that you can. Everyone knows about Audible anyway. You know, it's that thing where you download your books, you know, and all that sort of audio books and you listen to great stories and all that. But there's a link on the aussietechheads.com.au webpage on the front. If you want to sign up for a 14-day free trial, go your hardest off the link and then you help yourself by a free trial, help us at the same time. So, yeah, it's all, it's all what's good. Our, uh, what's our uh, tagline? Help us so they can help us so they can help us and we can help them. Is That's that how right. it goes or is it something different? That that'll do. Let's help everyone. <laughs> and just to uh, to to help. Speaking of helping people with uh, Audible at the moment, you sign up, get your your free trial through the uh, the website. Um, but also they're having a sale at the moment where there's over over a thousand audio books for sale for six dollars each as well. Oh, okay, so, nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, so, so there you go. Your one your one credit then on your trial will get you two books on, that are on sale. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Right. So, there, so now you can use your one credit to get those, to any of those two books that are on sale and you'll get, you get two free books. That's right, yeah. And some of the books, you know, they go for like 30 hours or something, so they're well, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're yeah, heaps in them. They're not just, you know, they're not oh, just fairy tales. You can get any, can get any 85,000 books, whatever you want, Maybe whatever you're into. <laughs> there are fairy tales. Yeah, yeah Little probably. Red Riding Hood, you know, <laughs> Three Little yeah, p- there, Pigs, there's, they're all there's there. There's kid stuff. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, nice. Buy for your kid. Yeah, so there you go. So if you want a fr- uh, free trial, and as as we just found out, you can on the books on sale, you get two for the free trial. Just uh, link from our f- homepage, please, before to sign up with your CC. Uh, yeah, and also while we're while we're just having a little bit of a bit of a cruise, uh, Will's show Talk Back Tech. You would have heard about it. He's on live Tuesday nights, same place, live.thesecrethub.com. He's looking for a co-host. So if anyone out there has the desire to pull on the cans and get in front of a mic, all you need is a, is a mic, um, some headphones, and an internet yep. connection, and maybe a camera, and you'll be yep, away. Get a camera. Mm. They're cheap. Yeah, yeah, they're only like... Get a Microsoft, a Microsoft HD camera, cost you 90 bucks. Yep, yep, and away you go. So you can... It's just, beautiful. If you're interested, contact Will, will at aussietechheads.com.au. That one will do. That'll get to him. So if you're interested... Okay, but- yeah, sorry, Will, or where? .com. TBT at... SecretHub.com. All right, then. Now, while we're, while we're plugging things... Yes. Um, chewing the fat back next week. Yes. Um, uh, after, after Aussie Tech Heads. Now, I would like... Disgruntled Tech was very good on, after our first episode and sent me a, a good story, which we discussed in our second show. Mm-hmm. And if anyone wants to send us stories that you would like us to cover, discuss... Or indeed, call in during the show. We will take uh, one call in per segment. So that's three calls during the night. So we have uh, three 10 minute segments, a 30 minute total for the show. And we'll take one call in. So it's three calls a night we can take. We might yep. extend the show five minutes for those. 
So we we like call-ins. You can discuss anything. You can rant. You can rave. You can dis- disagree with us. Yes, uh, whatever you like. That's right. And at the moment, you, and the same with Aussie Tech Ed, you can call in via Skype and Skype contact Aussie Tech Ed. So call up with a with a with an offbeat story if you've got one or a topic that you you want to hear us hear us uh, discuss. Or if, think, or if you think we're full of shit and you want to tell us about it, you just ring up. <laughs> you do. It's that type of show. And Eric, where your your aim is to iTune it pretty soon. Uh, I would say after episode four, it'll be on iTunes. Right, right. So is, is but it's on, it's on YouTube at the moment. Yep. So uh, YouTube uh, dot com forward slash net channel two. And Eric's and, uh, yes, Eric's been working hard uh, doing uh, video overlays and all this sort of stuff. So yes, yes, intros, outros, uh, lower thirds. Mm. Uh, it, it's in uh, sort of semi HD. It's not too bad. Yes, and, and you uh, also you right. you also get video overlays with TBT as well. Yes, correct. Yeah, both both more advanced than Aussie Tech Ed's. <laughs> <laughs> Way more advanced. <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if you're tuning tune next week, chewing the fats back, uh, t- t- hosting for TBT, if you're interested, give Willa, Willa Bell. All right. All right. And follow him at, uh, at Mr. Tomkinson on the Twitter. All right. Let's yep. move. Let's or uh, I'm starting to use uh, Aussie TBT. And speaking of which, <laughs> apparently you don't use the hashtag TBT because that's bad, which is lucky. Because I don't. I use the hashtag TBTS. Right, right. Yeah, well, someone, someone searched uh, hash TBT and, <laughs> and got something they weren't looking for. Boom. But, <laughs> and what a great surprise. <laughs> All right. Moving on. <laughs> How's your Empire Revenue shares going, Eric? Oh, they're tanking. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be dumping you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, Frosty bought some today. Thanks, Frosty. Oh, I'm yeah. do with a few more. Tight ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I, <laughs> I got on to some... Um, it's to get expensive. People don't buy shares because you're expensive. Well, no, no, man. It's not about expense. It's about return. Yeah, that is. It's all about return. Like, I'll save up just to buy the expensive ones because, yeah. That's you, right. Or I will buy cheaper ones, but the ones I look at is your share price, your return on investment... Has to be yep. your the same or more than your share price. That's how I. That's my just my rule of thumb. No one else is just mine. But uh, yeah, there, what's your, there's your ticker A L L P. Mine's Aussie. No, mine's A T H. And uh, Will, are yours still going? <laughs> or have they or they been? Uh, um, well, I mean, t- not by still going. You mean yes, they still exist. <laughs> Or have they been liquidated? I think your, yours are a penny oh. stock. I think yours are the bottom of the harbour now, aren't they? <laughs> well, I mean, hey, they're still worth two, two more than when I... Well, they're, they're, they're about ten bucks. Uh, so I think yours are doing all right. <laughs> yeah. So Considering you don't do anything to them, they're all right. <laughs> yeah. Just a, just, a, just a few tweets and a few Facebook things pushing them along. So that's all well, right. See, that's the problem, though. I don't do that because I know how annoying it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, what I did is I, I, as I, I did create that... Also, the uh, Aussie Tech News Twitter feed, which just follows a, f- a few bots and stuff, and I put that on as the as the the uh, Twitter account on Empire Av. But I've, I've just kept my my the Aussie Tech heads Twitter separate. So I've got the bot going away, working for me. While then I'm not. While I've got my own, which is not you know getting jam packed with with news. Many anyway, mine is the bot. You are a bot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. The bot. So I've got another story, and then did you have any stories, Will, or we're we just happy to keep going? Yeah, no, I've got like ten. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well, you better go. Pull one I'm out of the a, hat. I'm having a statistical night tonight. It was just complete coincidence that eight of my ten stories are about statistics, <laughs> <laughs> and that was also a complete a, fluke that I managed to make that work. Very droll. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, except. They're kind of contradicting statistics in some of them. The first one, 9 out of 10 concerned Australians or 9 out of 10 Australians concerned about identity theft. Nearly 1 in 6 Australians have been a victim. No. 1 in 6? <laughs> wow. That's, that's a well, high percentage. I can't believe that. Who told you that? Julia Gillard? <laughs> no, according to research, an independent survey of 1,200 people <clears throat> revealed that yeah. nine. We're out of in Mount Drought. Concerned, hey. In Mount Drought, is that where they did the survey? Where they're all stealing <laughs> each other's? Um, 
nine out of ten people were concerned or very concerned about identity theft. However, only six out of ten people has identity theft occurred. So, but but I suppose it means like what's the scope of this? When you say identity theft to someone, does someone go, "Oh yes, I've had my license stolen"? Yep. Well, thirty percent of the identity theft started with the loss of a credit card or debit card. Well, that's not identity Hang on a so, minute. Just because, just because you lose a car doesn't mean yeah. it's been stolen for identity theft. I think yeah. they're drawing a really long bow on that one. Yeah, what's that? Where, where's that story no, from? Meant loss in terms of a car that's been, you know, either stolen and, and used. Lifted, lifted a wallet or something. Yeah, like someone could yeah. steal a letter out of your letterbox. Oh, my identity's been stolen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. Right. Hey, let me tell you, some of these people, they'd be lucky if their identity was stolen. I wouldn't want to be them. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. I'm um, quite, you know, mine's open. Mine's still available. Right. <laughs> <laughs> quite well done. Well, it hasn't done any good. You need some action in your life, Will. You need, you need someone to steal your identity and, and take it around the world. That's right. Well, Look at all the stuff uh, that I'm buying that I'm not going to get anything for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, 1,200 people. So that's, not, that's probably a, a fair sample as far as surveys go, I suppose, but I've never believed in those sort of 1,200. Okay. That's, is that what really is it? statistically Statistically, out of 10 surveys are inaccurate? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that the bloody poll, political polls seem to get it on the money, though, don't they? Like, you know, who's going to win elections and stuff? They seem to be pretty right. Yeah, they're pretty re- reputable polls. You know, you get the Morgan and the Gallup, Morgan Gallup mm. poll. They're, you know, yeah. depends who does it. Yeah, you know? but a bloody zombie's going to be able to tell you what's going to happen next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In, across, across every state, I know what's going to happen at the next one. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, Will, any more? Or oh, are you finished with that one? That one, yeah. Um, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll give you a couple more stats, eh, seeing as we're on the ball. Yeah, stat me uh, off. Apparently, 7 in 10 Australian households have access to the internet, which equates to 80, 86% of the population. <laughs> Now, that's another – don't you – the thing with this is how these things are worded. If you went up to someone – if you went like, up to someone at, out the back of Burke and said – Oh, know? anywhere, the front of Burke. Yeah, <laughs> all the side. Like, do all you, the side. <laughs> they still laugh at that. Do you have access to the internet? And it would be, well, yes, I can go to Sydney and access it. You know, like that's just the wording of all these things, isn't it? Like, of course, do you have access to it? It should be like more precise. At your home, do you have an internet access in your home? Yeah, or, you know? Frosty's got a point, and that's what I was laughing at. He's saying he's lost seventy percent. Seven out of ten people yeah. equals eighty-six percent. Right. Yeah. Well, seven out of ten, seven in ten Australian households have access to the internet, which equates to eighty-six percent of the po- which equates to eighty-six percent of their households, and fourteen percent of that being workplaces. Oh, okay, right, Which right. Which only makes it 72%. 72%. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what it is? Standard deviation, 2%. Yeah. <laughs> Plus or minus. That's right. Plus or minus. That's oh, what it is. Geez, you're bringing me back with all Plus those things. Plus or minus. Which they should explain that. And, mm. they, and, they, and, they, and they may may well do at the bottom in the small print that mm. there's a standard deviation of one or, you know, between no, 2 and 5%. Bottom. Down the bottom, it says Australians spend $15 million a year on cultural activities and $36 per household a week. Well, how many households are there? Well, that's well, easy. Fifteen. How much? Hmm. But, but these, but these figures are like six. five years old. Yeah. No, two thousand ten. But don't say those statistics again, Will. Say those statistics again. The household Australia's one. Been fourteen point seven million a year that's on cultural activities, which yeah. is what they call this. Um, yeah. Or thirty six dollars forty per household. All right. Let's call it thirty six. So there's 417,000 close enough households, or houses, flats, mm. units, whatever, in the country. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I think like, yeah. but yeah, but where these statistics, like obviously they're coming from the Bureau of Statistics. And we've got, when's the census? Is that this year? It's coming up soon. I don't know. But I'll be lying through my teeth. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> what the that? Oh, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, right. So you don't take them seriously? No. Nah. Yeah. I probably should, you know, I probably should. I just don't like the government knowing what I'm up to. You know, they ask me how much I earn, none of your freaking business. But they know anyway. 
Well, that's right. Well, one agency knows. I'm not going to tell the other agency. Yeah, they all talk to each other. Oh, they do. But you know what? They can go and talk. Find out for yourself, you yeah. lazy <laughs> dirtbag. Find yes. out for yourself. I'm not going to tell you. Make your job easier for you. That's right. That's right. You know, where do you live? I'm not telling you. Mm. How many people in your household? None of your business. Yeah. <laughs> What, well, do you do? What, do you, what do you do for leisure? None of your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, all right, so what we're going to do now is have a quick break. We're going to sort out some camera issues. Looks like Skype's died in the vision department. So we'll be back uh, in, a, in a sec. Is mine still there, Glenn? Or is mine gone no, through they, my camera? No. I think, I think Will went, you froze, and now nothing's come back. Was all there right, a swear word in there? Did you swear, Where's Eric? Swear word? I didn't swear. Apparently, yeah. Did I? I? What did I, I say? About a minute ago. Was it the F-bomb? What bomb was it? There's <laughs> a few. Eric's got a few in his arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, I, what did I say, PA? I can't believe that. And you've been so did good I, up until yeah, the last... It was about the census? You've been so good for the last 37 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, look, that was around about 40 minutes and 30. Oh, is it about the census? I'm, I'm starting to do a Darren Hinch here. <laughs> and, the, and the John Laws with the, with the, with the bombs. <laughs> oh, Lawsy was on fire today. I was listening to him. Got up some poor bastard. Yeah, earnings? Oh, the census earnings, is that what you're talking about, PA? Alrighty. Um, do you want to call us all back then? Yeah, because no one's coming through. So we'll hang up and we'll call you back. So hang him up. Okay. Oh, bloody, don't you like that? Everyone sends you Skypes. Hang on. Might be a good time now to hang on a second. I'm just going to get move a chat box over there. I'm going to move a chat box over there. And video call there. And nothing happened. Nice. Video call. Nothing's happened. Video call. Nothing happened. Okay. Let's have a go. Let's close the window and let's try and call out of the box. So we're going to go Eric and Will. Call the group. Hello. 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 Oh, hello. The other party can't see you, I know. Um, Looks like... Okay. I'm making noise now. I can hear you, but... Cool. I think your camera will start like an old, old, olden HQ. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to Skype, I'm sending you video. Okay. You probably are, but it's just taken a while to get to me. Let's have a look at the call quality. Computer's fast. Yeah, let me do that. Let me do the same. Connection speed is unknown. Connection. Let me test my connection. Quality now. Unknown. Give me unknown. There's a little, like, little fine, little bar graph thing next to the time of the call. Oh. It says my webcam sending a good video. Can you see me, Glenn? No. That's my answer. Yeah. Lying Skype. I'm uh, going to swear again. You're lying, lying no. Skype. What Should we it? restart Skype altogether? Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> I'll you know, log out of Skype and restart it. <laughs> yeah, we might. Well, okay. Let, let's try that. Let, let, we'll do that. Okay. Let's, let's try and bring an abrupt end to the show. Oh, well, you see that? That's down. Oh, no. Yeah, see, like, I'm connecting. That must be the problem. I'm a problem. Now I'm online. But too late. I'm going to quit you. I'm over you. Quit. Quit. 
you can get the noise. I like that little noise. I'll put it myself. Okay, so Skype's coming up. <laughs> How was that? I must have been right into that conversation because I never really <laughs> heard that heard the swear word. Dole. Now I've got to edit. Dole. Double dole. Double, double, dull, dull. Hello? Oh, there's Will. Hello? I'm here. All right. Here we go. Okay. See. All right. We're back. Speaking of swearing, yes, there was this kid I lived next door once years ago. I was about eleven, and um, he used to swear yeah. like you know he was about he was about nine, and he used to swear his head off, swear <laughs> constantly, swear. Yeah. My parents said to him, my parents said to him, "Excuse me, whatever your name was, <laughs> I can't remember his name." He said, oh, "Don't you think you should, you, you know, you should stop swearing? You swear swear too much." You know what his response was? Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> True story, dude. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, oh, funny. shit. Funny. Fuck off. Hey, did you see, uh, I don't know if anyone watches MasterChef. Did you see that guy got kicked out? For no, the goth. Yeah, using an iPhone or something. He got kicked out a month ago. They just caught up. I wouldn't have kicked him out for using an iPhone. I would have kicked him out for using an Android. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well. Did, yeah. You did you see what actually happened with that? Um, there's an article, I wasn't going to worry about it, maybe we should, but there's a thing saying one of their IT guys got kicked off the show for providing him with the iPhone. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah I think well. it's in today's. Oh, I okay. didn't have it on up, but it's in today's news somewhere. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't Cheater. know. Cheater. Cheater. Well, yeah, yeah that, you, if you can't have one, you can't have one. So Yeah, right. yeah that's right. You know, and obviously everyone knew about it. Because you know, I reckon my wife said something very clever, and I reckon she might be right. She said, "What if they knew he had the iPhone in there, and yeah. they were keeping they they kept him on the show and kept him there yeah, yeah, because yeah. if they kicked him out, and a popular guy like Billy got booted out, yep. they could bring Billy back. Yes, right. Yes. They knew all along, but they're keeping him in bay because they could use it later. Yeah, and possibly it would, would not surprise me. Oh, look, I'm telling you, I'm hanging for that bloody son to get kicked out." I hate her. What a boring, boring, boring. What gonna, Jesus, Sun. What's your daughter's name? Wheat? Yeah, buddy. Moon? <laughs> Moon. If we want to um, yeah. actually talk about that on the show, because I've got the story, the follow-up story if we want to. Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, whatever oh, you like. But, oh, okay. You know. we got 20 minutes, so I'm out of stories. So if you want. I still <laughs> like story. I've actually got three real stories and another couple of statistical. Oh, we want some stats ones, Will, because we like they're a good laugh. So we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll come we'll come back in and we'll um yeah we'll just we'll spend a couple of minutes on MasterChef because it's Australian and uh we'll yeah we'll we'll move on with the rest of your stories but I'll probably have one I'll probably have one more and maybe one if I get really excited it's uh, it's not something I was going to talk about but I'll see it's about tables if you're looking in the show notes I don't know if I'll talk about it on the show. I don't know. See how time table goes. Gla- gl- glass tables no high tech ordering system <laughs> removes the <laughs> The middleman from restaurants. I'll, I'll, right. I'll think about it. Oh, I saw that. I'll think about it. Well, no, you got to talk about the Google thing. Oh, we did that already. Didn't yeah, we, we did sort that. Of. Sort of. Have you got any more to add? Sort of. No, nah, not really. You done? Beware, Google. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Moving mm. along. Okay. I might just check my Twitter stream. See what's going on there. Okay. And All right. Go for it. Whatever you want. What do you want? Oh, we've got the videos back and everything's hunky dory once again. And while we're in the break, we're just having a bit of a bit of a chin wag about uh, MasterChef. I just, you know, everyone, a lot of people watch it. Very popular show. And we were just having a talk about the guy that got kicked off, Matt. I think his name was, and and he had an iPhone apparently. And he, I don't know what he was doing with it. They didn't actually say on the show as as much as they just said he just had a smartphone. And I believe I don't know. I just made up there was an iPhone. I don't know. It could have been anything. And so what What was he doing? Was he just calling people? Was he looking up recipes? Don't know. Don't really care. Porn. Yeah, it could have been porn. porn. Well, there's not much going on in the house. And, you know. No, especially with, you know, 
Yeah. I won't say. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you oh, know, and um, the, yeah, yeah, and, the, the, and yeah, so yes, yeah, so we could go further on with that, but I know. <laughs> I'm just, we won't. Uh, so, but Will was saying you had more on that. Will you had more on what actually was what unfolded? Yeah. Well, now that obviously, like they record a month early, so a month ago the news came out that he'd been kicked off. Um, mm. But now that he's actually been kicked off, um, uh, well, uh, uh, now that he's been allowed allowed to make an honourable withdrawal. Mm. Um, <laughs> It's, it's crazy because I also heard that his dad was ringing up going crazy, ringing up on whatever, I don't know, radio or something, going crazy about that they were holding him in a, in a, in a, in a motel room because obviously they didn't want him let loose yeah. in the, into the wild because it hadn't screened on the, t- on the TV yet. So what, what? That, That's not that uncommon. They do that with a lot of contestants. How can they hold They're people? Allowed one, they will have one call a week, 10 minutes. It's yeah, like right. Big Brother. Same thing with Big Brother. They'll hold them until the show's finished so people don't know who's in and out. That's right. Exactly. Oh, but, but it's not Big Brother, though. Like, if you get kicked out, you go home. You don't get You're, you're contracted yeah, to say, month, keep saying nothing. Though. Turnaround yeah. period. They don't want people knowing. Otherwise, who's going to watch the show? But Yeah, I understand that. But, like, but when you get kicked out, you go home. But this guy's been, like, booted out. And, um, and he's not allowed home. But what, why is yeah. just because he's got booted and not farewell? Like, what, what's the difference? Like, obviously it's a big thing. Yeah, he could slag. He could slag them off contractually. They got to. They got to muzzle him. Well, mm. I don't, oh. It's called freedom of speech. I, I didn't know kidnapping <laughs> was part of the contract. But anyway, yeah, freedom of speech. <laughs> yes. But anyway, um, so Will, you were saying that apparently that one of the IT guys on the show gave him the phone. Yeah. I can't pull up that particular story. I can't find it, but I was reading it earlier that, yeah, actually one of the tech guys um, who was responsible for monitoring cameras and all the stuff in the house um, actually smuggled the phone in for him. Um, yeah, right. Because he, uh, he works in IT as well, Matt, didn't he? Yeah, he is. He's a, I think he was a, a IT tech support worker, which basically means... Tech support, he, call center. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Call center. Um, Call center. Hello, uh, my name is Matt. How can I help you today? <laughs> Would you like curry? No, my my name is Matt. I'm calling from Bombay. <laughs> Sorry, we'll go. The that they he they eventually found out that he had the phone for up to six weeks before anybody knew about it. Um, yeah. And basically the rules state that smartphones and internet access are taboo for contestants because they could use the device to find information or get an advantage over other contestants. Which is fair now, enough. Yep. That's it's a computer. Predom- well, it's predominantly a load of crap because they don't know what the challenges are anyway and they're given recipe books. So what's the difference between looking for yourself and, okay, maybe you could find up um, information on other contestants, but... I think, what are you do? I, mean, <laughs> I think I brought up the same comment and and my wife said to me, well, yes, they are. But also they – because, you know, obviously the show's not – is is maybe not sequentially just filmed. I think there's a lot That's of – That's right. It's, it's heavily edited. It makes yeah. it look like it's sequential, but it's not. And if you, you can tell when it's heavily edited because oh, yeah. never – you can't see a clock anywhere in any of the rooms they're in because yes. that would be a giveaway about yeah. when filming is. Yes. There's yeah. not a clock anywhere. It's heavily edited, and that's why I reckon he had at the end. Because they say, "Right, oh, cut, mm. have a two-hour break. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna set up this, we're gonna set up that, or we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go down here, and then when we edit together, it's gonna look like it happened five minutes yeah. ago." But that doesn't matter the because they still don't know. Phone, you know. They still don't know what the, you know, the challenges are ahead of time. They're not given any forewarning, so. But depends on when he's looking at like. So the the thing, the point that was put to me was, yeah, okay, they got recipe books, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the point was put to me that, okay, he goes, okay, now the challenge is. We want you to tell us, uh, or we want you to make something. We want you to cook this duck and and make something that goes great with it. And so then you yep. could just go, okay, look up Gordon Ramsay or something. And go, what goes great with duck? And you go, oh yeah, little carrots and little peas or something. He goes, cool, oh, or whatever. Only, yeah, whatever. He was only using it in the house where you could get, you know, where you can mm. have to be yourself. He wasn't but it, using it. Yeah. Sad. But in any case, oh, he, he broke the rules. It's still an advantage. It's still an advantage. It's still a risk. And he's got the emotional advantage too. If you're talking to your loved ones every day when no one else is, 
he's got the emotional advantage, and that could be enough for you to win the competition without yeah. even cheating on cookbooks. Well, they never said that he used it for phone calls. They only ever said he used it to look up information. Mm, yeah, well, pretty fi- it'll be pretty easy to find out if he did look up for phone calls. Look at his call logs. Yeah, well, more's, more's going to come out anyway. So we'll, uh, as the as yeah. time goes on, and I'm sure we're all riveted. But anyway, more more stats, Will. I was just going to say quickly what I find funny about the story is that ends the story ends with the other contestants' jobs range from nurse to mum, journalist, professional lifeguard, and film projectionist. Yes, film Stop. projectionist. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> where where is he from? Yeah, 19- the movie the movie theater. What from 1920? <laughs> no, you go to the movies now. They still use projectors. Yeah. But that's all computer, isn't it? They don't have someone changing reels. No, no, they do. No, there are, there's still a lot on celluloid. They're right. Close or cellulite or whatever it is. I don't go to movies. Sell your light. Sell your light. <laughs> sell, your, sell your heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Um, yes, what? Will. More. More. We want more. Give me, give me, give me more. Right. We're hungry. You guys want statistics. Yeah. These are nutters. <laughs> All righty. Give it. Give it up, Will. Uh, uh, Sony, Sony's global chief, Howard Stringer, takes a pay cut. String him up. Oh, yeah, 15%. All right. He took a 16% pay cut. The just-ended financial year reflecting the electronics and media's third straight year of losses. So now he's down to $1 billion a year. What a poor bloke. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. You know, like, it doesn't matter. 16%, you know, it just means you can't have that other Ferrari, you know. Mm. 15%, that's right. I mean, but they don't mention these stock options yeah. are still there. It's the string as compensation consisted of $295 million a yen. No, 295 million yen. 5 million based, yen, yep. Divided by based, 80, guys, if you want to know what the do- dollar amount is. Based on a basic year compensation... And 50 million yen a year bonuses. So basically, what's that? 350 million yen a year. Divided by 80. Yeah. It's about, uh, That's what, what Forbes 30. To. That's 50 mil. 40 to 50 million a year. That's a lot of money. You know what? I've got no problem with anyone earning that sort of dough, providing that your company that you're running is not losing money. Yeah, if you earn it, why not? Act. That's right. And not That's being right. able to actually use the custom, <laughs> the company. Yeah. But we were talking of money. St. George Bank expense expects 50% of online customer transactions. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 50% of online customer transactions to be conducted via smartphones. That's another stat. 50% of online transactions con- conducted. In, over what period? Yeah, yeah, over the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, no. It, well, no way. It's spending tens of millions of dollars ramping up offerings to cater to the booming Gen Y. Monthly smartphone transaction volume. Gen Y? What are you talking about? they got no money. What are they, what are they banking? <laughs> they got money for phones. Uh, well, well, their wage, I suppose. You know, they're probably checking up. Yeah, where they got paid when their dolls paying come in. Porn. Paying for dollar PayPal porn. Yeah, PayPal, pay, paying for PayPal porn. Monthly smartphone transaction volumes already equivalent to those at 85 vis- physical branches. Double the figure from eight mm. months ago. The bank's iPad app currently being tweaked receives 2,400 downloads a month. Um, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, across all St. George apps, there were 25,000 downloads. At National Australia Bank, in comparison, 16% uh, of the 3 million internet banking logins come from a mobile device. That's because, yeah, because they're all old starts. To log into their bank on a mobile? Do, it's shocking. Do I? It's near impossible. Why? Westpac's good. If you try Westpac, it's good. I log Westpac's on. got a good app. I do NAB. I log on to NAB. Why? Mm, you must be lucky. Why? <laughs> well, you, maybe they, they, the, maybe they don't like him. Maybe he's an old fart. Are you, are you NAB, Will, or what bank are you? No, a friend of mine's got NAB. Um, I use ING, and because they're an online bank, they everything's tweaked to work online and on mobile mm. devices. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so St. George, anyway, they're, they're, they're going crazy. So if you want to get hip, oh, you know, yep, it's all right. St. Right. George's, St. George's mobile users fall into two distinct categories. 80% are under 35 and 42% yep. are under 25. Mm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just, they should, they should talk about the subset. There's a subset in there that there's a crossover, obviously. Obviously, yeah, there's so a crossover of 17% or something. 
Yeah, eighty percent of their users are under the age of thirty-five, and of that eighty percent, forty-two percent are under twenty-five. So yes, half, so four percent basically yeah. of their users are yeah. under twenty-five. Well, yeah. that's their mobile users. Yeah, but no matter what, they they go on gangbusters. They're, they're but what's funny is the you, you keep reading the story and you follow up through it on the link. And they end up saying they're going to spend $10 million over the next three years to develop mobile apps and mobile-friendly sites. That's hate, $10 million? What? Yeah. Is this in George? They're joking. Apple doesn't um, spend that much. <laughs> yeah, well, it <laughs> says... App. Well, it says... That's crazy. Bloody... What does it call it? Um, Angry Birds, they spend a million bucks mm. on it. And I bet you it works better than a mobile app. <laughs> but it, it does, it does <laughs> say in the story here... It, it, uh, so where, where this come from, uh, I think it was IT News, um, the Australian. So it comes from the Australian. To be, so blah, 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 blah. Over the next 12 to 18 months, as it spends tens of millions of dollars ramping up offerings. So that yeah. probably doesn't mean just uh, uh, mobile apps. It probably does go there's towards. One that says, there's one that says um, they're going to spend $10 million on mobile banking. Yeah, right. How do, you, how do you justify 10 articles? Right, that's a lot Mr. of money. Said, St. George would lift its mobile technology spend. I can see over the next three years spending a lot of money. It's, it's in the tens of millions of dollars um, on mobile as opposed to probably only a couple so far. I'm going to open up 100 new branches and spend up to $10 million on mobile banking. Mm. Well, I suppose you've got to chuck in all the security, I suppose, that they've got to go through to get it all done properly and... Maybe testing, but still, geez, tens of millions. That's a lot of money. As, what were you, as Eric was saying, like Apple's not spending tens of millions on their mobile devices, apps, things. No. On their apps. Yeah, it's crazy. That's, 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 Angry Birds spent a million dollars. Oh, that other bloke, that, fight, that, that, that uh, group, uh, Firemint, who did um, that airline game, landing game, I can't remember the name of it now, they spent a million dollars. Mm. And, th- th- and mm. th- that works better than any mobile app I've ever seen. It's garbage. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, um, well, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Oh, and we're, we're nearly at the end of the show, but we, we have got a caller. We're going to bring him in, see if he wants to talk to us. Who's that? Hey, Garth. Who's... G'day, mate. How are you? How you going? Good, thanks. What have you been up to? Yeah, not... Oh, I've been around. I've been around. Oh, yeah? Nice Just um, always miss the live stream. I'm just, you know, oh, yes. family, that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, I know. It's hard work, isn't it? Ignore them. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> if only it was that easy, hey? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Ignore them. Ignore you, them. I was just thought. It was, just yeah, was does. thinking. It was a bit, I was just listening to a bit of the live then. Caught it for a change and hearing the tens of millions on mobile banking for St George alone. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Apparently, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's all about. hype. That's a St George putting in a bit of spin. Uh, they must have Kevin Rudd run on their their publicity <laughs> department with all the spin. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Do you reckon we could put together some kind of iOS development thing, you know, and propose something a bit cheaper than that? <laughs> I reckon you wouldn't be too far wrong. Why don't they just chuck it up on Elance? You know, you get you get some little Pakistani in there. You probably develop That's it right. for a hundred bucks. Outsource it to India. <laughs> yeah, the exactly. dollar for a dollar a day. That. We'll do, we'll do the outsourcing to India. Yeah. Well, look, I've just gone down to the <laughs> I've gone down to the library through the week, and I've I've borrowed a book. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but but it's how to make your own app. Your own uh, iPad app. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a bit of a read of that and see how we go. But how's your have iPad going? You got an iPad, haven't you? Hey, oh, hey, it. hey uh, what's for it, uh, Glenn? Just a yeah. just a tip. If you pay ninety nine bucks to Apple, right? You yeah. Get your dev, dev license for iOS. Yeah. Um, forget reading the books. They got videos, forums, everything. Oh yeah. yeah. Ninety nine bucks, and it, for a whole Even year, on. and uh, it, you go nuts. Yeah. It's all there. Yeah. Not, I te- iTunes U is it the the iTunes you can do you, you, you can have a look at that too. That's free. iTunes U. That's very yeah, good. There's a lot of good development stuff in there. Even I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. So so you've still you've got your iPad. You got an iPhone too, haven't you, Garth? Yeah. 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 You got the iPad too yet? Just um, no. I couldn't justify it. I've got the three G sixty four gig. I thought you know. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do for now. Yeah, <laughs> Let's wait I was till. thinking about it. I if, couldn't look, justify if it either. camera had been better in it, I mm. might have considered that rather than getting the 4. But when it came out with such crappy cameras, I thought, bugger it, I'll just get the iPhone 4. Yeah, yeah. And 
wait for version three. Look, and I'm we not- just um, just bought my mother a um, an iPad two though for her birthday tomorrow. So we'll yeah. see how the nice. old um, what is she seven just, year old can't just <laughs> can't just slip <laughs> her the old one. She'll never know the difference, and you keep the new one. <laughs> She'll never know. No, no, no. I couldn't work it that way. I yeah. I, well, it wasn't just me buying it. It was my sisters as well. So, you know, I don't think I'd get it past them. Oh, yeah, no, nah, probably not. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, but tens of millions of bucks, that's crazy, Garth, crazy. It is crazy. crazy. The other thing I was thinking from what you guys were saying there about how, you know, well, the young guys have got no money. They're the ones who have to micromanage their money all the time. You see them, I see yes. them at work everywhere. They're always yep. on their phones. You know, yeah. I've only got 20 bucks left to pay, so I'll move it here and I'll do this and I'll do that. That's no, you're right about that. You are right about that. They're always on there <laughs> trying to bloody, you know, scrimp and save and, you know, you're right. No, you're probably right about that. In, so in the, the general sense, you've got nothing. Micro-managing but on a micro sense, you're right. They're always on it. Mm. But yeah. I, I have no trouble on the iPhone through, um, what is it, Suncorp, I think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Log in th- easily. Most of the stuff, it's pretty well optimised. Yeah, and, and just like as you were saying just before about you were talking about cameras, like and the the camera on the iPad. Like to be honest, I, I've never used the camera on the iPad. I don't know. If no, any... what would you do with it? Apparently, it's garbage. Well, I don't use yeah. it. Like, um, I think I can see Try one. Try it out. Well, I can Try see it out and then post it up on on the tube. Yeah, I, look, I think I've taken one and I think it looked okay. But I mean, uh, I, I, the only advantage I've come across that I could use it for is a thing called I downloaded an app called Word Lens. And it, okay. it translates. Like if you point, point the camera to a sign in a different language, mm-hmm. it'll translate it yes. to your language. And yeah, yeah. that's like a, a yeah, that's, that, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah. So that's useful. Yeah. But um, as far as anything else, like, like you've got your phone normally. So you take your photos with your phone. Um, that's right. And most of the time you haven't, you're not carrying around your iPad. Like I only take the iPad specifically when I want to use it if I go somewhere. Um, but, mm. yeah, I don't know. That might be just me. Like I've signed up yeah. to FaceTime, piece of crap, don't use it. <laughs> no, I, we've, my wife and I both got iPhones. We've never used FaceTime once. No, I don't even understand it. <laughs> I, like, I logged in and signed up and oh, I just thought, is this by Microsoft? Yeah, you're right. For an Apple product, it's actually quite confusing. Yeah, and so I thought, no, I'll have to go with something else. Go with something else. Yeah, yeah. We use the old Haytel a bit. Have you? Which one was that? Blokes? Haytel. Do you know that one? No. no what's that one? It's an, I, it's an iOS app that lets you send voice messages. Okay. So it's just like hold like you hold the button oh, down, hey, tell. speak, yeah. let it go. I use that all the time. Hey, tell, yeah. It's, um, yeah, mm. all right. Yeah, nice. It's, it's, like, it's like a push to talk. But push to instead talk, of, yeah. it, Well, it's similar. The only difference is instead of it recording, instead of it sending directly, it will send it to them and then you have the option to play it later. So you, it doesn't just mm. automatically interrupt whatever you're doing like push to talk does. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. But between devices, it's you know really handy. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other, you know, as as you know, Glenn, I'm blind, and the other thing I do use the cameras for mm. on, and one of the reasons I was looking at getting the iPad too, if it had a decent camera, yep. was for the um the optical character recognition stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. So yes. there's a there's a few good apps out there now where yes. you take a picture of a like a bit of mail that's come in. Yes. To the, take so, a picture, yeah. give it a few seconds, and it'll read it out for you. Yeah, yeah. Turn that, that good idea, isn't it? Do the OCR on the device, yeah. So you could like essentially you could probably get a like get a newspaper and, and do this read the newspaper. Yeah, if you had a <laughs> very patient <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's um I let's say rudimentary it's rudimentary. Somebody like Prismo's a good mm. Yeah, sorry, Will? I was gonna say it's some it's a company, it's not audible, but it's a company that does audio stuff. They actually do the daily newspapers. In an audio mm. format, oh, I think yeah. you know what. Yeah. A lot of libraries have it. Yeah, depending on where you I are, what region you're at, and how big the library is. Some libraries mm. do do that as well, or well, they used to anyway. Yeah, I, th- I think. I um, think, Will, you're thinking of Overdrive, maybe. That's the pretty. That's pretty much the biggest supplier for general libraries, like you know, around the world. So each individual there's- library, like here in the Gold Coast, will um, yes, they I think- buy. I think there's a couple of thousand books they've got bought. Through overdrive, and you use the overdrive interface yes. to access that. Yeah. But um, through, you know, for, for blind people, there's other sources where we can get a lot more stuff as well. Yeah, that's but good. F- 
for the general public, Overdrive is probably the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think the Gold Coast libraries use the Overdrive, as you were saying, and I've seen yeah. that in action and I've downloaded a few oh, Doctor Who audios, so <laughs> it's all good. Oh, <laughs> you and your Doctor Who, Fanny, I'm going to swear in a minute. <laughs> There's an Overdrive app too that you can get for your iPad there as well. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> I've, um, I've not... I've had a little fiddle, didn't get it to work, and moved on because I've got so much bloody audio content coming up my ears. Yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, good to hear from you, Garth. Yeah, no worries, guys. And, nice to talk to you. Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk again soon. We'll push it back to the lounge and we're going to finish up pretty soon. Good night. All right. Thanks, Garth. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just, just, oh. The, just Garth just reminded me of something, uh, you know, sort of, sort of in a roundabout way. Yeah. Um, you heard of that store in the UK called um, The Book Depository? Um, They're like Amazon, right? But they don't charge for delivery. Oh, right, right. They just sell books. Yep. They just sell books. They don't charge for delivery. Well, we all know Mm. Amazon.com owns owns Audible, right? Yes. You know that? Yes. Um, Well, they've just bought Book Depository. Right, right. So there you go. So look up bookdepository.co.uk and um, have a gander. uh, Apparently, get get some books, you know, normal books, analog books. Analog version, not audible, not audio books or anything like that. And uh, get it, get buy some books really cheap, cheaper than you can get them here. And uh, no delivery, no delivery charge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think all the Borders bookstores are about gone, haven't they? Gone. Yeah, gone. They're all just about finished. I think the one at Rabina over here. I haven't been over there for a little while, but yeah, from what I hear, it's just about gone, if not already. Gone. Gone. No, but, uh, I didn't. Of origin last night, by the way, and uh, got smacked. Apparently. Oh yes, yes, no good. The Blues got went down. A hunk of. What was, what was the score? Oh, 34-24. Oh, yeah, uh, got smacked. Outplayed first half. Just couldn't come back. Just couldn't do it. Thought yeah. they could have, but they didn't. All right. I reckon the, the Blues. The, the 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 Blues aren't taking enough steroids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Probably not. Probably not. But yeah, we're good on Lockie. You know, great team. It's a it's a champion team. It's, you know, you got to wait for them to Just, retire before we can even look close yeah, at it. Yeah. But anyway, that's See the way it goes. Mm. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to uh, head off. So you got anything head else off. to say before we go? Either of you two? No. No? I am good. I have some more stories, but if you want to know about uh, about breasts or penises, you'll have to watch the show notes. Oh, well, there you go. That's just an incentive, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's your explicit tag right there. <laughs> No, no, it's it's purely scientific, purely scientific. Yeah, I've seen your scientifics, mate. (laughs) More stats, more stats. (laughs) That's right. Hey, Hustler is not scientific. Yeah, all right. All right then, boys, it's been been great. Thanks for coming on from um, sunny Bali. No worries, mate. And uh, thanks, Will, for coming in from uh, downtown Doolandella. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you. We'll see everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the guys in the lounge. Had a nice turnout there tonight. And thanks for Garth for calling in. You can do the same. Aussie Tech it on the Skype. So, all right, until next time we meet, this is 